This is what Havana looks like with only a few hours to go before the popular referendum where Cubans will ratify or reject a new constitution. For some time now, the referendum has been everywhere, dominating public spaces, the pages of newspapers and magazines, and the TV and radio headlines. The media interests include cartoons like this. The artists know that visual humor is one of the best weapons to defending an idea. That's why Adán Iglesias has dedicated 15 cartoons to this topic. He says he has many reasons, but one in particular. I am a father. I have children. I am deeply interested in a bright and prosperous future for me and my children. And I know that all the analysis that has been done by the population can give us a better country from all points of view. Even from the point of view of humor, we can have more publications, more outlets. I have faith in all this. For the all-hander last, a good cartoon is the one that not only makes people laugh, but also makes them think. Therefore, he wanted to show the little-known moments that Cuba experiences as more than 8 million citizens took part in an unprecedented popular debate to build, together, the law of laws. Here in Cuba, we have a saying that goes anything they did, even the cat did, even the cat ate here, even the cat danced here, then even the cat is included. And that really happened. People went with their pets to the meetings. So even the cats took part in the process. Enrique Lacoste is one of the sharpest creative minds of graphic humor in Cuba. With simple lines, he can depict what is proposed by the new constitution in matter of gender, for example. Dazzling everybody, he can even draw a contemporary Jose Martí who votes for what he always dreamed, a basic love of the republic that expresses the full dignity of human beings. His skillful pen also shows how confrontation between Cuba and the United States has been a constant of history. This constitution, adapted to the new times, is a constitution that makes our society more democratic, more fair, with more solidarity. It is a blow against the empire. This one shows the way they try to distort the reality of a revolution. So you have this soldier who is voting and he says to imperialism, this is a socialist democracy campaign. Suggestive and original, these vignettes are drawings of the Cubans' reality now. But soon they take their place in history as the reflection of a time when the Cubans defended at the ballot box the kind of country they wanted.